بتاعته تمام اظن كل ثاني في سبرين تو اس ريفليشن تو حتى المسيح موعود عليه الصلاه والسلام وكريدس جري الله في حلول الانبياء This revelation, first of all, you should yes. 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 Please find out. Now that verse is evidently speaking of events of this world during the latter days. It is not speaking of events of after Qiyama or Yom al Qiyama. Then the prophets will not be uqtathat, raised again at the right time of their raising. The Yom Al-Qiyama, the phenomenon of Yom Al-Qiyama is a completely different phenomenon. But the verse here is speaking of events in this world when Ar-Rusul Uqtath. That means all the prophets of Allah will be raised again in what form? Separately or in one person? This way of Hazrat Bhushimah Rasulullah throws an explanatory light on that verse that all the prophets of God <coughs> will reappear as a single servant of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that will be Hazrat Muhammad Islam so God addresses him as Jariullah fi hulul anbiya you are a warrior from Allah fi hulul anbiya in the garb of all the prophets. So see this, both these verses, the one verse and this revelation are <coughs> deeply connected. Shum. <coughs> <coughs> so can I read a few preceding uh -huh. verses? <coughs> now this is not after the Qiyama is before it. فَإِذَا النُّجُومُ تُمِسَتْ وَإِذَا السَّمَاءُ فُرِجَتْ وَإِذَا الْجِبَالُ نُسِفَتْ وَإِذَا الرُّسُلُ أُقِتَتْ لِأَيِّ يَوْمٍ أُجِلَتْ لِيَوْمِ الْفَصْلِ وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا يَوْمُ الْفَصْلِ وَإِلُنْ يَوْمَ يَزِلْ لِلْمُقَزِّبِينَ The time will come to decide between the truth of Islam and the rest of the religions when the righteous will be divided from the unrighteous. So that is your own fast. And all these events, all these signs will not appear after man is raised again in Yom Al during the Yom Al-Qayama. The events on, of this earth before the Qayama will ever take place much before that. So these events are, are addressing a time when Islam will be decided to be to be made victorious over all religions. And as Ahadur Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as we described by the Holy Quran as Khatam and the Bijin, the seal and the master of all prophets. Now that is just a claim. How will the world know that he is the master of all prophets? In two ways. In the latter days when Al-Imam Al-Mahdi would appear from God, he will wear the garbs of all these prophets of Allah and claim himself to be is servant of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu You would say, I have reappeared, or oh, I have appeared, not reappeared, I have appeared, combining in me all the prophets of Allah who were prophesied 
variously to reappear during the uh, latter days. You see, various prophets, prophets were prophesized by their own divine books to reappear during the latter days to usher in an age of victory of religion over non-religious things, people. Krishna was, had promised that he would come again, Buddha had promised, Jesus had promised, so other prophets of Allah had promised to come again. Will they come separately or will they appear in, as a single person representing God? And will they bring their own older faith with them or will they join the faith of Islam and reappear under Islam as a representative of Islam in one person, not in so many persons? These are the important questions which have to be addressed. And that is why I emphasize the role of this prophecy, the, the Quranic verse, and the revelation of Mercy Mother Sallallahu that they are profoundly connected with each other. And the message that we have very simply this, that whoever would be chosen as servant of Muhammad Sallallahu he would become also the master of all the religions. So, so in his person, all the religious leaders of the whole world would pay obedience or allegiance to the great master Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu This is what has been said by Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu repeatedly in his verse and in his prose. That I, as a representative of all, have become your servant, I take pride in being so. Jesus Christ is in me. And when I submit to you, Jesus submits to you. you know, that is the metaphorical explanation of all these things. Listen. Secondly, all the people of the various, pro various prophets would join Islam. You'll be witnessed by all during the time of Imam Al Imam Al Mahdi. What has been said by what other commentators? of the Middle Ages, and it's not that I'm saying it for the first time. This claim has been made by many great scholars of Islam that the fulfillment of the use of the Dhin Kullihi will occur at the time of Al Imam Al Mahdi or Jesus Christ. So all these things are interconnected. When the people of all religions we leave their own religions and come to Islam and pay their allegiance to Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi then that Prophet of God under Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at whose hands they will, be, they will convert would become their masters, their Prophet as well. So, Jari Ullahi Fi Hulil Right?